بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ويو الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسول اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I received a lot of questions with regards to two issues that one of our brothers has been engaged in people are confused so I will address this, this is brother Mehdi Al-Tijani we've had our discussion before with regards to the red pill the brother is my brother in Islam I have to reiterate that we have serious disagreements no doubt with its application Islam that is and we're going to look because people have been asking from the Quran and Sunnah what are the evidences what is he doing first and foremost what brother Mehdi has to realize is that he is representing Islam now he has said that before that I don't really consider myself a scholar or anything like that but he is representing a Muslim speaker he is saying Bismillah he is using Islamic terminology first and foremost brother Mahdi it is important to understand that you are responsible for what you are saying just like I am just like everyone else is point number two I would address the people especially the sisters who are watching his content why are you watching his content anyway like why are you giving him attention if he bothers you I'm totally disagreeing with him on many many issues it seems like some women are agreeing with what he is saying so maybe you should also have beef with those women as well isn't it not just with him okay, so my first advice to Mahdi is to stop because he is he has to be careful as the Prophet ﷺ told the Sahaba do you want that people will reject Allah and his messenger according to what you are saying and yes some of the messages are very concerning because people are as we've seen before in some of the other stuff that he's posted it goes from a range of Oh, I have doubts about Islam because of what he's saying. I really hate man because of what he's saying. Some people are even like, I'm thinking of committing suicide because of what he's saying. Like, Audhu Billah. And is the guy really worth your life? It is, has he really gotten on your skin that deep that you're considering suicide? I think that is ludicrous. I think people need to value their own lives and their own times much more. Let's start with the no strings nikah. Some people have looked at his new project that he has started. It's basically you get three options. You can have full marriage with all the rights. You can have some rights that are forfeited. Or you can have no strings attached, meaning no rights whatsoever. It's just for intimacy. Now, all these three types of marriages, if two people agree, if a woman and a man agree in a contract, no one can say that they are invalid Islamically. From a Sharia perspective, if two agree, and the evidence for that is the concession of Sauda radiallahu anha with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa that she gave her night and most of her rights and she gave it to Aisha radiallahu anha. So, however, there's a concept in Islam that maybe Mahdi doesn't understand and other people because maybe they're not students of knowledge, they don't have a lot of information as they claim. They say we're not sheikh, we're not scholars, we're not students of knowledge, we're just talking. Again, I would like to remind for the third or fourth time probably Brother Mahdi that he's responsible for what he says and other people like him who consider themselves from the Salaf and from the Salafi school of thought yet they're really preaching red pill hardcore red pill and kind of just following their own experiences in life so I would warn them again for that maybe fifth time something called Siddu Dira it is blocking the means when something that is permissible has a negative outcome because people can use sometimes the Sharia to do something wrong let me give an example don't take it easy now don't get too excited <laughs> the example is someone can, can can learn the sharia to understand how to find a loophole in the system for example to steal how can you get away with stealing well for example if something is not locked up the ulama say that that doesn't fulfill the requirement for the had or if something is doesn't pass a certain nisab or a certain threshold that does not incur the had, i.e. the cutting of the hand. So a person can study the fiqh and he can get really good at it to know how to cheat, how to do something wrong, how to get away from it. Because in the end, everything starts with the niyyah, in the intention. In this hadith of Omar Khattab that we see in every hadith book at the beginning, everything starts with an intention. People can use the word of Allah and try to twist it and that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about this ta'wil that some people do and that they use it to misrepresent Islam or to use it 
to hurt people. These things have been recorded by the ulama and have been documented well. For example, people who fabricated a hadith. Like, how do we know that hadith are fabricated? Because we have a system that filters them. So people have had ill intentions and tried to use the deen to propagate their own agendas. Again, though, I want to reiterate from a Sharia perspective, these three types of nikah under this so-called no strings attached. Are these batil, like they're not valid? No, they are. Again, the condition is that the two people agree that this is going to cause a lot of problems. This is going to cause a lot of issues. In the end, hey, if people want to do it, they're going to do it anyway. It's been happening, by the way. It's not the first time these kind of services have been available. I guarantee you that. It's happened in Arab countries. We've had issues with this before. And I contacted him as well, sent him a message. Personally, my advice to Brother Mahdi is to be careful because he might get into legal trouble. It can hurt women. But then again, the women who are going to go into these kind of uh, agreements, they themselves are making their own decisions. I don't think anyone's going to force them unless someone's going to trick them. 